Today we're going to go over a beginner stretching routine that you can do on your own. That's right. We're going to be covering six stretches that will loosen you up head to toe. So this program is designed for someone that has never done stretching before, so they're pretty easy and you can do them just in your house. Now each stretch you're going to hold for 30 seconds, but again, that's a long time to hold if you've never done it before, so stretch, start at your own pace and do it one to three times. No one's home. <laughs> there he is. Oh, first stretch we're going to do, you're going to need a doorway or a frame at least. You can open up the door. We're going to be stretching our pec muscles. I'm going to make kind of a field goal post looking shape like Brad is doing here on the door frame. And then you're going to slowly lean into it. This is going to stretch those pecs out. Going to hold it for 15 to 30 seconds. The Further in I go, the more stretch I feel. If you're tight and still on the back side of the doorway, that's fine. If your shoulders have trouble going up like this, you can certainly keep them down. What is ever comfortable for you, you could even go down here, I guess, that's if you'd right. like. Yeah, so this is a nice stretch once you can do it. Every time you walk through a doorway throughout the day, simply do a stretch. It's nice for posture. Just don't let your head get way forward, and we don't want that. Keep the head over the shoulders. Okay, the second stretch we're gonna do is for the calf muscle. Now you have two calf muscles per leg, so we're gonna show two <laughs> different stretches. Brad will demonstrate it, all you need is a wall. That's right, you don't have to go to a farm to find a calf animal, you know what I'm saying? You know, no. anyways, the wall, we're gonna stretch our calf muscles. Take one foot, put it back away from the wall, both hands firmly on the wall. Make sure your hands are clean so you don't leave marks. I'm guilty of actually Cheeto making fingers. Friends. Now, the foot, seriously, the foot is important. If your foot is angled out this way, you will not get a good stretch. Point it towards the wall. My heel comes up a little bit. I flatten it. Gives you me a stretch. And there's two ways to do this with your knee straight. And you lean into it, you'll feel a stretch. That gets the gastroc muscle. You don't need to know that, but it is important to do it with the leg straight. To be complete, you're gonna bend the knee and stretch again. Stretch is a different muscle, and it's real helpful. Make sure you do both legs straight and with that knee bent. You can hold it for up to 30 seconds, or you can repeat on, off, relax. You know, if it's your first time, you don't want to get too aggressive, you may have sore muscles the next day just from stretching. So be gentle with it, and then carry that on. The third stretch we're gonna do is for the hip flexor. The hip flexor makes you flex your hip or like marching. In order to stretch it out, you have to go backwards to stretch it. There are many ways to stretch this. This is the most optimal way if you're having back pain of sorts. It's a pretty safe stretch. You're going to need a firm surface to sit on, whether that's a dining room table or a bed. Just beware on the bed. Sometimes the edge are soft and you can kind of slide off. So what you're going to do is begin in a double knee to chest position like this. The closer my buttocks is to the edge of the mat, the more stretch I will feel. I'm gonna stretch my left one here, gonna bring it off the mat, then I'm gonna bend the knee. It's important to take your other leg, and bring it up to your chest. You can see when I do that, I have some tightness there because you can see my leg pulling up. I'm gonna hold this for 15 to 30 seconds, breathe through it, make sure your leg is in a nice straight line. Don't let it venture out to the side like that. After you're done with 30 seconds, Relax, reset, and do the opposite side. You may notice a difference. Maybe perform an extra set on the tight side. That's right. So again, this little point that Mike brought up about bringing the foot in, that actually stretches a different muscle. It's the rectus femoris that goes from the knee up. That is actually forgotten in a lot of hip, hip flexor stretches. That's the beauty of this one. We're stretching the deep muscles up in the hip, and then when we add this, we get that rectus morse, you will feel it stretch all the way the length of the thigh when you do that. So play around with it, get a feel for your body and learn it. If you do not have an option to get off your bed or a table that's safe where you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can do this one in a lunging position and you know, with a pillow or a cushion, go like this, keep your body straight. And this is another option for a hip flexor stretch, doing the same similar uh, thing, just that it's more optimal or convenient for some people. Yes, if you're comfortable getting down on your knees and doing it, that's typically the way I do it. It feels good. That's right. All right, let's go to, what are we on? Number what? Four. Four, big four.
Stretch number four is going to be commonly known as child's pose. Sometimes we call it prayer stretch or down on all fours. It's actually going to stretch your hips, your knees, your lats, your shoulders, a little bit of everything. So you start in kind of a quadruped position like this. I tend to bring my feet together just because it's more comfortable for me. And then the wider I go, the easier it is to sit my heel towards my butt. And once you're down here, if you're not feeling much of a stretch, you can certainly extend your hands out in front of you. Again, breathe, relax, hold it for 30 seconds. If you're stuck in this position up here, that's fine. Just start there. If you can't get down in this position like this, Brad will show you an option you can do seated in a second. Again, if say one side feels tighter, say my left side is a little tighter, I can bring that over to the right, get a little more stretch and hold it that way. Or you can do vice versa and stretch the other side. I really want to emphasize this is really as a, not a full body stretch, but really covers the hips, the shoulder, the shoulder blade, and it really works everything well, even and the ankles for plantar flexion. Now, Mike is wearing jeans. I don't recommend wearing jeans unless you got stretchy jeans like Mike. Yeah, he's got those fancy ones that are like elastic. Otherwise, you know, shorts or something stretchy is always recommended with this particular one. If you do not feel comfortable going on your knees on the floor or your bed, a chair, uh, office chair that have wheels works really well. You can put your hands on the table. A firm surface is a nice, uh, nice surface to do it on. And then simply roll the chair away and I can start to feel the stretch in my low back and my hips, my shoulders. And we're just gonna breathe gently. Now, if you do not have a chair with wheels, you simply take a towel and put it down on a, on a table that's smooth and shiny. It'll work nicely. A chair there, and you simply slide forward, get the similar stretch. Again, you can cross over like Mike did. You'll feel that more on one shoulder as well as the opposite low back and hip. It's a nice little addition to it. Feels good. It's really nice. When you got a stretch that feels good, you get done, it feels good. You're right on the money. Continue to do it. All right, let's go to number... Five. Five. Uno, dos, tres, four, five. Cuatro. No. Cinco. There you go. Let's go. Next, we're going to work on the hamstrings, which are on the back of the leg. You have three per each side. We're going to give them a stretch. For this one, there's lots of ways to stretch the hamstring. The variation we're showing you will have to be kind of on the edge of a bed like this in order to do it. I'm going to stretch my right one here. So I'm simply going to put my leg out in front of me, keep it nice and straight. If I'm back like this, I don't feel much of a stretch. Once I get more neutral, I feel a little bit. Some people can really bend forward. I'm not that flexible on my hamstrings, <laughs> but if you do bend forward, make sure to keep your back straight. Do not round like this. And I'm just gonna sit with a nice flat back. And I feel a hamstring stretch right here. I'm gonna hold it for 30 seconds to perform on the opposite side, either switch sides of the bed or just turn around like this again. You can isolate that one leg, hold for 30 seconds. That's right. This is a nice stretch. Remember on all these stretches, breathe and relax. If you do that, your muscles will relax and stretch much better as opposed to if you grunt and really force it. So allow the muscle to stretch, don't force it. Number six, this is my, one of my favorite ones, prone external rotation, simply in a seated position, you can do it, or lying down on your back in a chair. I do this every time I put my socks or shoes on. I have my foot up here, and you simply, you can see my knee is up here. If I relax and let it down, and I'll give it a little extra push, that feels good. It's one of those things, as you get older, 60s and 70s, this becomes more difficult, making it more difficult simply to dress. So if you simply do a little stretch every day before you put your socks and shoes on. It's going to help you out a lot. Sit up. And Mike, you want to show how to do it in bed or lying on the floor? So a similar position to Brad is doing. Your opposite leg will need to be mm -hmm. bent. You can do this on the floor or bed, like Brad said. Now, if you can easily push this leg down here, don't feel much of a stretch. Simply bringing this foot closer will do more. 
or I could take my hands on this leg and pull up and I really feel a stretch. I actually prefer to do this at home with this foot next to a wall, up on a wall. That way I can just push, but this is certainly an easy way to do it as well. But wait, there's more. There is. <laughs> so if you happen to be a beginner or you're real tight lying down, you may not be able to get your foot up to here and it's like, oh, I'm stuck. What am I gonna do? Simply straighten this leg out and start in this position and just relax, let gravity pull that down. And after you can do that, like Mike is doing, you simply elevate that knee, gives you a little more stretch, and then get into the more advanced stretch that Mike was doing. So yeah, it's a nice stretch, really good for the hips. So today's product we're talking about is the Q2 Massager. It comes in three color options. We have blue, black, and red. So this massage gun comes with five different heads Brad is holding there. We really like the air head, which is a cushioned one because it can work well in bony areas as well as the round head. The other heads are very good, but they're more for a specific trigger point area. And it also comes with this convenient carrying case where it can hold everything you need. This has been one of our most popular massage guns. We've had it for about three years. It's small it only weighs one pound it's great for traveling with it has a seven millimeter amplitude meaning how far into the muscle belly it can get and a 32 pound stall force which is pretty strong for a massage gun that only weighs one pound that's right and the nice thing about it is the cost you'll get these anywhere from 69 dollars maybe plus or minus depending on what you find on amazon it's a great device you will not be unhappy with it it is also rechargeable simply plug it in typically mm -hmm. takes two hours to charge and roughly lasts about four hours depending upon how intense you have it. There you go. Enjoy your massage gun. BobandBrad.com. You can get it there as well, I think. Can yes, you? Yeah, our okay. store section. <laughs> All right, we've got another video with some similar stretches. This one is actually focused on for seniors. What is it, Mike? Seniors, five must-do stretches to stay independent. It kind of shows some functionality along with the stretches, and I think we're in it. Five must-do. Yeah, so you must do them. They are good stretches. You'll like them. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists. 